Beach neighborhood with more on our top story. Glenn. Hey, good morning, guys. Now, imagine coming to a restaurant to sit down and eat and enjoy a meal, and then all of a sudden you have to dive under tables just to block yourself from bullets coming through the window. Well, that's what happened last night here in this Westwood neighborhood. You can still see the evidence is there with that bullet hole right in the window of this sushi and Thai restaurant. And guys, get this. This was all caught on camera. It was a normal night of dining out for people inside of Pride Sushi and Thai when the gunfire erupted outside. Some quickly dropped to the floor while others ran for their lives, one of the bullets hitting the front window, another going through the side of a Subaru parked on Peterson Avenue in the West Ridge neighborhood. We're told it was around 1040 last night when two victims were traveling in a car headed westbound on Peterson near the corner of Talman when someone from another vehicle fired rounds. A 21-year-old man was shot in the ankle and is listed in good condition at Swedish Covenant Hospital. A 20-year-old is at the same hospital in fair condition after he received a graze wound to the head. 40th Ward Auto Person Andre Vasquez alerted people in the community this was not a random shooting. It makes me feel horrible, not just as an alderman, as a person, as a Chicagoan, as a parent, right? No one wants to see that anywhere in our city. It's horrible, you know, it's, it, I, the teachers are going to be scared. Uh, the, the parents are going to be scared. Miguel Ortiz opened his daycare business a year ago. He says the crime has been a problem since then, and now his kids are forced to learn next door to a business where a bullet hole is left in the window. We've seen crime here happen before during the day, just people getting robbed and, and things like that. So it's, it's very scary. The, the teachers are very worried. In Area 3, detectives, they're investigating this shooting, but police are asking for the public's help. If you have any information that could lead to an arrest, they want you to contact them immediately because no one is in custody for this shooting. Of course, we'll keep you updated as we receive more information on this. For now, we're live in the West Ridge neighborhood here on the north side on Glen Marshall, WGN News.